Hello, my name is Dennis. I'm one of the founders of Washington Street Studios, a community pottery studio and gallery located in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I'm going to demonstrate how I throw platters, similar to the one on the screen. I'm going to throw on a Bailey's Pro XL wheel using a large plaster bat. I start by centering the clay low and wide. I use the base of my palm to push the clay from the center to the outside rim. I recenter the clay over and over while throwing the platter. I compress the clay often to avoid S cracks. the pin tool to determine the thickness of the floor, being careful not to score the plaster. I leave a half inch of clay in the floor of the platter, which will end up being just over a quarter of an inch after compressing and trimming. Once the floor is 15 inches in diameter or so, I pull up the walls, continuing to compress the floor and creating a smooth transition from the floor of the platter into the walls. I pull the walls up in a cylinder shape to give support to the walls while I'm pulling and shaping the clay. I lay down the wall starting at the rim and moving to the center of the platter, continuing to compress the base. I clean and compress the rim and cut off the skirt of clay at the base to reduce trimming later. I put newspaper on top and seal it to the platter to hold the sides in place during the drying. I add a little weight to the top of the platter to stop the sides from bowing up as the clay dries. When the clay is soft leather hard, I clean up the platter and texture the rim. I remove the platter from the plaster and put foam down for trimming. I trim as much as I can to reduce the weight of the platter. Turn the platter over until it's firm leather hard. Next, I add two foot rings to support the platter during drying and during firing. I prepare the clay, score the location for the foot rings, and I add water, and then I add extruded coils to throw the foot rings. I throw the outer ring first, and then I throw the inner ring. Throwing foot rings 
allows me the option of creating a hanging foot ring to mount on the wall or simple foot rings to set on a counter or on a table. I get better results throwing foot rings than I do when I trim them from extra clay on the bottom of platters and plates. I throw my foot rings deep enough so I can glaze inside the foot rings when I'm glazing the platter. And now the platter's ready to be fired. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like share, and subscribe. If you would like more information about Washington State Studios, visit our website at www.hfclay.com. In addition to our YouTube channel, we also have a podcast. Just search for the Potter's Roundtable on your favorite podcast platform. And if you would like to support our video and podcast productions, become a patron by visiting www.patreon.com and search for The Potter's Roundtable. Any amount you donate will help us create a library of educational materials for potters, ceramic artists, and educators.